Hey guys, it's me, Lena, and today I'm doing something a little different than my usual just crazy vlogs and random stuff. But today we're doing another cool craft. In last year, one of my videos, I did. I made little ooh, food toppers made of glitter, hot glue, and toothpicks. Yeah, and so this year, since it's almost my parents' anniversary, it's in like nine days. I know I'm a little early, but I wanna make a little cute thing to hang above their bed. Unfortunately, I do not have any string yet. So, and my mom and dad aren't home, so I'm just gonna take this time to do it. But I will show you a video, and I will show you how I hang it up. But first, what you will need are, you can either have three big, you can either have three big pieces of paper, which I'm doing, or 11 of these papers. But I'm having three, and I'll tell you why in just a second. And you also need scissors, a ruler, I prefer the long ones and not these shorter ones, they don't work as good and 11 markers. I have Sharpies going from, going in the alphabet, or not going in the alphabet, going in the rainbow order. Red, orange, yellow, green, dark green, light green. I know it's blue cap, but it's green. Dark blue, light blue, dark purple, light purple, dark pink, light pink. Now, like I said earlier, that I'm using three papers because I'm going to use the ruler, and I'm going to start with two pieces of the paper, and I'm going to, like, use one of the Sharpies, use a black Sharpie, actually. Just got to get one. I'm going to use a black Sharpie and draw a line in the middle. And I'm gonna cut those two and make eight out of this one for the first eight, and then nine, ten, eleven, and third three, because there are eleven letters in anniversary. So let's get starting off. Starting. Oh. Let's get started on the first two for the one and the two, or the eight, the four to eight. Now I'm gonna lay my ruler so it looks pretty even. I'm gonna make sure the papers are even too. Take my black sharpie and they will make a straight line right there. You want to make sure that your papers are lined up so that you have the perfect shape and you can cut them both the same way. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut over that line. And I'm gonna, the, why I said I'm not get, I don't have any string, I'm going to hang it over my parents' bed when it's their anniversary. Now that I've made four little, or long, Strips, I'm going to put them all together. I know. I did not put these even, apparently. I need two new more pieces of paper. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm 
sorry. I brought a whole new thing of paper just in case. Now, this does get hard if you want to do it lineless without the voir. That is okay. But not for me because I'm horrible. So, I have made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces, and now I have to make three more. Now, I have these, and I'm going to just set them off to the side. Then, I'm going to take my one piece of paper. And this is the little tricky part. I'm going to take one of these because we're going to make, we're going to actually make four more because I'm going to use this to trace over it. Might get my marker on it. That's why I'm going to use this. Stick it right on there. Get my Sharpie. Okay, I did get a marker on here, and that's why I made four slots. So, oh, you can do this whole part, you can, or you can skip this part and just go to your local craft store and get just equal blank pieces of paper. But I suggest you do this because mostly craft stores don't have the blank piece of paper so they're all perfectly lined up and the same size i'd rather you just do this and it looks way better when they're not all the same size i don't know why it's just so cool when they look like that. so it's one two three four five six seven of the ones that we already cut out then seven plus Seven plus one, two, three, four equals eleven. Now you want you do want to be very gentle with these because it's paper. You don't want to bend it. It's gonna be horrible if you bend it. Not horrible, but like. Anyways, we're gonna go on and take our scissors and. Cut along the lines. Now, if any of your squares have black or whatever Sharpie colors on them, you can draw, you can write the letters on the other side of it. So we have seven, eight, nine, and 10, 11. So we're done with our scissors and our rulers. And now we're gonna take our 11 pieces of paper. Make sure they're not all the same size. I mean, it's better. So you're gonna flip them over where they have the black on it. And we're gonna spell anniversary. 
Now you might want to scoot out all your stuff. Like I'm going to put my Sharpies up top. So I'm going to put them with the black on the other side. Anniversary. To spell. And anniversary is a long word, so you're going to need about, yeah, 11. Mm -hmm. 